I'll ask it again. Have you tried soup dumplings? Who hasn't tried soup Empty. dumplings, dog? I may live in the bum fuck nowhere, but you can get some soup dumplings. What lane do you recommend people to start playing? I mean, it doesn't really matter what lane you start playing. I mean, what type of champions do you like? I mean, like, or I mean, like, I think it's just best to find like what type of archetype of characters do you like playing? Do you like being a tank? Do you like you like being a supporty character? Do you like being an assassin? Do you like playing mages? Do you like playing marksmen? Make your choice after that. I went to McDonald's drive-thru and told them all, I told them at the window Quantum sent me, and then they charged me double for chicken nuggets. Holy fuck! Look at their team and tell me you're not just depressed. Look at that fucking team, dude. I'm doing a Moon Mommy skin or a Moon Mommy game. All right, Obsidian. I, I think it's my it's my favorite. I think out of the uh, the Chromas. I, I mean, I can't be the only one. Wrong. Like, I feel like the Obsidian Chroma is always just stupidly fucking good. It's just always super fucking good. That's on Gathering Storm. Uh, back in the day, when I took Phase Rush, I, I would always go uh, Absolute Focus and Gathering Storm. But games don't last long enough. I just personally think games don't last long enough anymore for them to be really that worth it. And at the same time, if you're playing Diana mid to try and scale, you're just gonna get outscaled by fucking Victor. Let's go and Dina game. So. Don't like. I, I think the thing with Diana is like you do scale decently, but you shouldn't be playing her like to scale. And Scorch has you know has a chance to actually like get you a kill. So look at this dude. Look at this skin. Even odd. It's a pure 50-50, By the way, guys, it's a legit 50-50. Scorch mana flow ban, bitch. To be fair though, I think Scorch is slightly worse with the uh, with phase rush, but I mean it's still the point. Like you're you're taking Scorch to try and help you have a little bit more kill pressure early. I just had to face tank that and get it in, or else I'm gonna die to a fucking Zack gank here soon. Not sure what my team is doing there. Dude, phase rush is so fucking good. Every time I take phase rush, it just feels so fucking nice. Cause if I have electrocute there, I don't I can't just run out of his stun. Have you ever just been depressed? I just lost my flash because he just walked up and exhausted me. That kinda sucks. Do it, Mr. Jungler. I know you don't I know you really want to stop their herald, but don't do it. Not bad, boys, not bad at all. Dude, look at this juicy fucking base. Why do you not play AD Assassins? I'll never understand questions like this because I just play what I enjoy. I don't play the AD Assassins because I just prefer playing the champions that, I've had, uh, that I'm playing right now. I just have fun on them. I mean, it isn't like the same reason why you play any champion. You just play them because they're fun. But Yoni, though, I mean, I, I mean, I have phases of what like champions I find fun. Seems good on Diana, yeah. It's really good on Diana. I'm sending it. If I die, I die. I said, if I die, I die. I'm even pushing this wave. I don't give a fuck. Speed your runes. Nah, but attack speed's fine. Probably wasn't worth it.
Oh, my Scorch actually killed him. Quarms is too good. <laughs> I do, I've never, I like never play Zed. When Fappy picked that for me, I was so depressed because I knew I was going to look fucking like, like poopy. Zed is not a champion. You, you don't like one trick basically. Hey. You know, I'm gonna be honest, for being a 0 and 5, this Garen kinda ate my ass. That guy's 0 and fucking 5, by the way. And he did 1400 damage to me. Yo, what's up, Rodeo? Welcome back for the old 3. Why Rocket Belt over Night Harvester? I mean, the reason why you go Rocket Belt is because it gives you magic, magic penetration. Which, in most cases, will do more damage than Night Harvester, even though it technically has a more damaging active. I will say, though, technically, Night Harvester is better if you're just looking to, like, poke people. I mean, Harvester is just kind of not very good. Why Lich Bane over Natures? Because it's Lich Bane. And I'm a memer. Like I said, I'm a fucking memer. this thingy back up are you serious I thought it was I thought he was down I see nothing's changed in season 12 I mean I'll be real in terms of season differences season 12 for sure feels like the uh like there wasn't a lot of change overall compared to like other seasons Did he have crown? Or did, I just felt like I did zero damage to this fucking Victor. I feel like I did zero damage to the guy. Yo, Safey! Fresh fucking meat! Thank you, dude. Thank you. Victor got owned in lane and he's still useful. My team have given him a couple kills, but... I think you understand that Victor can be zero and ten. He'll still be useful. That's, the, that's kind of one of the issues with Victor. He literally could be zero and ten, and he, he's, he's gonna be he's gonna be a problem. Alright, I'm super strong. I can one-shot the, the Varus with a flash, like, combo. I don't even need my ult to one-shot the victor- or the, uh, the Varus right now. The fuck was that, Victor? Or Varus? Let's fucking go, dude. Where's my pings, you motherfuckers? I just smurfed. The fuck? My team doesn't care me, bro. I, I literally like Astro Smurf. <laughs> Bitch. Not bad, boys. Hi, YouTube. I think. Yo, big fucking damage. Actual big fucking damage.